All right, welcome back, everybody. So this time we are actually going to have some action in the garage. Uh, we're going to make a transmission cooler stand of the external variety. So this car, which is behind me, Vader, uh, doesn't have a transmission cooler on board because, well, it's a race car. And they don't necessarily like to carry the extra weight around. So we're going to make an external cooler, like I said, um, and the way it works is it pulls fluid from the pan when the car is not running, circulates it through a regular transmission cooler with a fan on it and an external power supply and all that good stuff and then puts it right back in the transmission and uh, gets all the hot fluid out of the converter and all that good stuff and cools it down without having to run the car. So I'll turn the camera around, show you what I got done so far, which isn't much but uh, it'll come together quickly and it'll make more sense. All right, so what you're seeing right here are the three main pieces made out of some fancy aluminum tubing. So they're gonna get welded together like that. This guy's gonna get welded on there like that. And then crossways on this thing from left to right is going to get a brace welded in there and the cooler mounted to that. Pump and power supply will get mounted down here. And it's gonna be a cool piece. So no better time than the present, let's get started. All right, we weld one side and then we'll pull the other one in place. So that looks okay. It's not that particular part's gonna get covered up, so we don't really care what it looks like. Uh, didn't really clean the aluminum like I probably should, but again, it gets covered up, so we don't care. Let's do the same thing to the other side. All right, we got both sides uh, kind of heavy tacked is what I would call it. Maybe partially welded or however you choose to call it, whatever. Anyways, um, so we'll take this thing out of the clamps. We'll put it up in the vise. We'll weld both sides all the way around. Then we'll put the upright on it. So if you ever wondered how much difference it makes in cleaning the material versus not cleaning the material, all I did was a simple scrub real quick with a piece of scotch brite that was well used and I'm going to show you the difference so there's the one that's not scrubbed and it just it's okay it doesn't look real good there's one that is scrubbed that's using the same welding rod the same settings the same everything the same tungsten nothing different and it looks considerably better so if you ever wondered now you know. Uh, I think now we can move on to the upright portion of it. So I've already notched it and everything. This time I'm going to scrub everything because this part is visible and we want it to look good. So here we go. Okay, in typical uh, Brooks Garage fashion, we skipped a few steps and I'm going to show you where we're at now. And this thing turned out pretty cool. So, well, here it is. All right, so we have a filter set up, a pump set up, the power supply in the back, and a temperature gauge. You go around to this side. We're gonna have a fan mounted here. This guy will be mounted right in front of the cooler. This is a uh, kind of like a computer power supply. It's 110 volt in, flip the switch, turns everything on. The fluid goes into the filter, out of the filter, through the cooler, out of the cooler, into the pump, and then back into the transmission this way. The reason we do that is uh, this particular pump is only rated for 300 degrees and it does have a bunch of composite or plastic parts in it, much like everything does nowadays. 
and it's just simply not rated for continuous high heat fluid. Uh, not that it'll ever get that hot, shouldn't, um, but we want to give it every chance we can. So um, that's really about it. We're pretty much caught up. I'm going to make a couple brackets to mount the pump and the filter housing to, and then it'll be done, and we'll test it. So on to that part. Okay, the camera took an unscheduled break, so you're coming in now on the completed end of the pit transmission cooler for Vader. Um, I'll turn the camera around and show you guys what we got going on. If you need to duplicate this, it is really not hard. It's just, it's, it's kind of a cool project. So, well shit, let's check it out. All right, there it is in its glory. So we added external filtering to it, a temp gauge, of course the pump. This is a 110 to 12 volt power supply capable of carrying 80 amps. 10 inch fan, cooler snuggled in behind it there. Uh, I got some custom brackets on there to hold the fan in place because the cooler is a little smaller than I should have got, but it will work. And it will work good, actually. So, um, go here, I'll show you how it works. So, pretty simple. You just plug it in like that, flip the switch. <laughs> So that fan is uh, it, it's kind of powerful. So hopefully it works uh, like we need it to. You saw the pump push out a little bit of water. I guess when they build these pumps, they test them with water. So I need to make sure there's no water being passed through the transmission or anything weird like that. But other than that, it is done. So thanks everybody for stopping by, checking it out. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully the next videos you see will be this thing going to the track. This. So that's it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one.